Hello, hello, hello. This is Abir, and uh, today we are going to discuss about Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors application. And I'm going to help you out how to make your application stand out of the crowd and be your next uh, ambassador. So let's get started. Let me tell you that Microsoft Learn Student Ambassadors is for students. That means you need uh, you can be a bachelor student, or uh, you can be a master's, or you can be a PhD candidate. So it is completely for students. And what you have to do is that you have to help people to achieve more to Microsoft technologies, to tech talks or whatever events you are going to conduct with your community, with your college. And that's how you can actually be co co contribute to this program. That's how that's how the uh, main contribution of this program runs. So before that, let me just tell you that you are going to be a force for good locally and globally. And what it means that you have to be like uh, you can say you have to particular you have some students right obviously you are in a college you will be having some students who don't know about much about these things but they are interested to know or they're finding their ways so you will be the one who will help them to find the way to learn something new to build something great and also participate in microsoft's imagine cup if they have some great really super cool ideas and also they can learn through microsoft learn and it's uh, like you can learn anything from Microsoft Learn. It has from starting from blockchain, Azure, Node.js, so many things out there. And before that, why you should apply? This is the main question that every student asks, uh, though Microsoft has mentioned it uh, on the site very clearly that you, you should apply because you want to make a difference with students from around the world, right? You have to like, uh, obviously you want to do something uh, different from what other people are doing, or if you want to grow your skills and build like something a uh, tech evangelist or tech insider or becoming a leader inside your tech community that uh, it can be a school community or it can be a city community city tech community or it can be like if you have some zeal to empower your peers those who are just getting uh, started with the things so uh, in microsoft learn student ambassador you have various milestones so let's see uh, one of them like a few like we have three milestones so we will see all of them so let's see now so here if you just see that we have alpha beta and gold initially what you'll be doing that you initially will be just in microsoft learn student ambassador after you complete few courses on microsoft learn you are promoted to alpha and now the system is totally automated so you need, need to just submit the link that you have completed and all the proofs that you have completed this course and uh, you'll soon promoted to alpha and after that you'll be given 50 150 dollars sorry 150 dollars as your monthly credits that means a lot that you can create uh, build some uh, virtual servers you have you can have your next uh, mail jet service or if you are uh, having a newsletter like just uh, i did with the azure that i have a newsletter service if you haven't seen that i'll, I'll drop the link uh, below that uh, you can subscribe to that newsletter service and it is completely built on azure and the backend is running on azure so uh, like this you can actually uh, you get go so many be benefits you are getting so many benefits use using azure credit so you can use it in every month like uh, if you ask me i'll spend around like 30 dollars every month on azure and rest of the money gets saved so like this uh, uh microsoft learn student ambassadors alpha program helps to make your pro you can build your products you can teach them and how you can build through that and help them help people to know more about it and moreover that you're going to get uh, visual studio enterprise subscription which includes windows uh, keys also like windows pro windows education like the all windows education is the enterprise version for the students and you can actually go through it and it, it, you can install even docker you can install various applications which are not uh, uh, which are just restricted in windows home version you can install it in windows education it's a different experience over that you are going to get uh, mtc certification exam voucher and your one exam will be free for you and you can these uh, certification exams are very uh, useful uh, while you are showing displaying it on your resume too and obviously uh, studentambassadors.com mail uh, if you have been uh, my newsletter subscriber so there you can see that all the mails are sent through studentambassador.com and they are completely uh, like we have created like i've created a mail service which actually uh, set up the thing with student ambassadors and it runs on azure so you can just go through it once how to build it and you if you haven't subscribed it you can do the subscription below i have mentioned the link anyways and then you can actually see the text with snagit and camtasia software these are the screen recording and screen capturing software they are super amazing things that you will see in this 
program that uh, you can these are the, you are getting the full lifetime version of Snagit and Camtasia for user for two PCs and there you can use uh, if you are into video production or if you need some events uh, we are conducting some events you can use these things to build some uh, cool videos and product workflows and you can do all the stuff with that moving over to beta that you all have the al alpha benefits how once actually you need to host an event in your community and uh, it should have some minimum criteria like around 15 to 30 students should be there to uh, who can actually who are present in the event and it should have some uh, upliftment of the students and uh, that's how you're going to promote it to beta and then you're going to get swags from microsoft uh, and also you're going to get the event support mentorship and obviously the access to ambassador summit uh, this time Am ambassador summit was virtual and uh, we enjoyed it uh, last year la la like last year it was uh, you can say it was it was in uh, delhi new delhi i suppose yeah and there we uh, like there all people enjoyed and uh, we had pablo so were also there so most of the people from microsoft do come over there and ambassador summit but this time it was virtual uh, and gold uh, like after you like gold is like you have uh, by like the existing gold ambassadors uh, they'll see your co community contributions and based on that they will uh, nominate you for gold that's how the things happen uh, not every beta gets converted to gold it's just the community effort that you are putting and uh, first of all uh, just let me tell you that uh, with the uh, this thing after becoming gold you can actually participate in microsoft mvp program also not only getting guidance but you can like be, being an active community there you can actually get into mvp too so that's how you can do let's see the application procedure like whenever i click on app, apply now so it redirects me to this place let me just uh, tell you that i have written an article based on this last year uh, how to like make your application stand out of the crowd so we'll relate both of them and we'll do the stuff so first let me just sign into the application okay this is my mail and uh, so don't mail me uh, at all times i would say <laughs> so no worries so as soon as we as we come over here we need to just click on apply and then after you uh, it gets it takes a bit time and then over here we are and you just need to uh, read the privacy and terms and conditions that you have to be 16 years old that means if you are in 11th and 12th you can also apply and uh, you need to be in high school right under 16 uh, you cannot uh, this program is not eligible for under 16 and uh, you need to be uh, in an institution in a college and university or have valid identification after all these things you just need to uh, agree or like you sign up the shows uh, everything is fine i am signing up the agreement and then you're going to click on the next after that you need to uh, set up your personal information for the swags and all these things how the community how you represent yourself in a community and then uh, academic institution information and the most important part that we come is writing sample uh, the written sample what happens it is divided into three sections inspire teach and promote inspire means like what technology inspires you like well, it can be anything it, uh, so for me it was react just and uh, how i actually like uh, taking students to like how i can help students to learn about this you can uh, and why i want to do it so this is the main thing that uh, inspire section should be filled up and i have clearly mentioned over here about the same we just go down a bit and if you just see uh, we have this thing uh, most important sections and so what is the thing that uh, you need to show that what you actually uh, the main concept over here is that you need to do some deep thinking that why you want to share the things up like this is a lot of deep thinking involved i would say first it's not like that uh, you just want to share the things whatever but it's completely one one's pur pur purpose you can say a purpose why you want to share what if i love react why i want to share because it helps to people build ui very clearly and you can actually do it in enterprise way so and this helps to helps them to do ui work and building ui components and do the things so that's how you can actually uh, put up the stuff moreover if you see uh, I just wrote about that React JS. Yes. So I like you just need to think deep about it. But what makes you feel excited about React JS yes, and why you want others to use it, right? So this is what you have to explain in a very detailed way. And then uh, coming to teach section, there you are going to take about the technology that you have spoken about in this file and tell them how you are going to put it up in front of the learners, your audience learners. 
and uh, then how you can actually uh, build it up or how you can let them get started with get, uh, react js so like this you have to do you have to explain it in the teach section and i hope there will be a video too you can do the video presentation too that will be great thing and uh, if you just see over here at least one video must be provided that means uh, you have to provide like uh, i would say that provide for the teach section that helps you assess uh, you much better that it's, it's the on ground thing so it helps you to assess much uh, better in much better way and then promotions like how you are going to promote the event like it's completely on your university you can get in touch with the university students and uh, how you can uh, collab them and uh, do the promotions of your event and don't worry if you are a complete beginner you have some nicer bit experience about what happens in community you can share uh, things about the community and we student ambassadors inside the uh, student ambassador teams we can uh, help to collaborate with each other and may make the promotions well so that is how you can actually uh put it up i actually wrote about the this thing that like being into different communities uh like i had a community known as tech phantoms and there's for share share to on the getter and uh we can like um, you can join various communities on discord like there's id hub is there uh, then we have dev townships there uh, ethwe code is there so you can just join the communities and see what's happening over there and that's how you can actually uh, see that how you can go into promote your own because every community do have a promotions channel where students do promote their events whatever they are conducting so you can go over there and check it out and regarding social media you need to share what are links you have i would say like uh, if you feel that instagram is uh, too pro personal so you can avoid it uh, but uh, github all the technical stuff with like the blog post and uh, what are the resume if you have resume prepared and it's uploaded uh, uh, on like on google drive or microsoft or onedrive or it can be anything so we just need to provide the link over there uh, if you have a technical blog site too you can provide the links and uh, if you are like more into like stack overflow answering the questions you can provide that too and if you are on twitter and you feel like you can share it so you can share it so that's how you can uh, i would say like go for the technical urls like github and uh, technical blog sites and all those and after that we are done we need to just set up like uh, which kind of technologies interest us like blockchain uh, like for me it's blockchain open source web dev so like this you can and uh, but i'm exploring bit devops also on uh, the channel tech world with nana so you can go over there too if you like want to learn devops too so like this uh, you can just uh, see up the things and how you can actually what technology interest you can just check on and uh, you can do like this and then uh, if you have anything to share is like i love to play piano you can share that you love boxing you can share that too so like this things are and then you just need to click on submit uh like if you ask me that what actually a uh, minimal time uh, that takes uh, to fill the complete application i would say for me it took 5 uh, to 6 days because i had to think deep, deep about the written uh, written sample over here what is what inspires me a lot and putting it in a nicer way and then teaching teach section creating the video so in uh, almost 6 days it was all good and i was in the app uh, as in the microsoft student ambassadors program that's all and i hope you like this if you have any suggestions to improve i i i know there's some uh, background noise so i'm really sorry for that i'm i'll make sure that it won't come <laughs> that next time in next video but yeah if you have any suggestions feel please, please feel free to comment it down and always like uh, i welcome like if you want to connect with me on linkedin you can go over here i have all the links down and uh, if you have any suggestions for the new videos that you want just put it up in the comment section and Uh, I'll surely look up to it, and I uh, will give you much more better experience with this channel. So thank you guys, and uh, uh, all the best for and stay safe.